Something, I think. Is that the test marks? On your mark, Sarge. Hit it. All right, target's painted. Power down. Or it should be in about five hours. Bayed. Bayed. Doctor Legaha. Legate this, Anna Legato. Le, Anna Legato. Shoof. Scott. 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 for me and the dead will outnumber the living <clears throat> what you were looking for? Yeah. Good. We leave at midnight. Whoa, wait, wait, what? My superiors are of the opinion that this side may have been compromised, and air strike is possible at any time. Fuck your superiors, okay? You got what you came here for. I'm gonna get what I came for. What was the deal? Dr. Lichman. Huh. Midnight. Fuck is this? Holy shit. Aaron? Santa, come on, you should not be here, for God's sake. God, I think the baby's coming. Fuck that, we're scrubbing this mission. What are we gonna tell him? Let's start with the truth and we go from there. Ali! Tariq! Listen, I need this out of the ground and on the truck by midnight. You tell your men, I will see to it that their pay is doubled. Okay? Come on, move! Move! Let's go, let's go. Yashimam! 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 Jazz, Tariq. Ali, Tariq, خد الهبل يلا. شوف. مكتوب بهالنهار. إلا ماري. Well, if that ain't the weirdest shit I've ever seen. 
That's an eclipse, Marks. Don't tell me you never seen one of those, man. Shit, no. I don't have him back in Jersey. So they're sitting back in Sally, telling us we ain't seeing what we're seeing. <sighs> this is fucked up, Sarge. It's the Marine Corps, Marks. You don't sound too happy, Jacob. 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 Jacob, you still there? I am still here. What, you're not going to say anything? I'd hoped you'd listen to me, Aaron. I'd hoped you'd respect my wishes. Jacob, I found the tomb of Telal. You know, I mean, every major scholar, including yourself, said it didn't exist. I knew it existed, Aaron, all along. Right, well, that's easy for you to say that now. It is not easy, Aaron. You have found what my all rights should have been left alone. What's done is done. May God have mercy on us. Jacob! 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 Fucking ally jamming. Bastard's jealous. Can you believe that? What? That whole conversation, not once did you mention that David was born. Not once. Dr. Lichman, I hear congratulations are in there. A son. That is as it should be. Thank you, Colonel. <sighs> all right, looks like we're going to be out here in time after all. I'm right there with you, Sarge. Just say when. When? Sergeant Cross, United States Marine Corps, we're coming to get you out of here.
Drop it. If you ever want to drive a camel again. We'll be fine. Stay there. Cover your baby with your body. Cover him up. I told you to drop it. Frankfurt Naval Hospital. You're lucky to be alive. So now that you're awake, why don't you roll over on your side for me, Sergeant? Mm. Now you could you can go ahead and call me John. Uh, what about you? How about me what? What do I call you? When do I call you? You've been badly cut, but the doctor said you'll be just fine. Hey, what the hell is this? What the hell is that? What'd they do to me? Who did this to me? Oh my god, you've got to help me, okay? He's gonna fucking kill me, all right? He's gonna fucking kill me, got it? Who's gonna kill you? Please, I'm begging you, all right? He's gonna kill me. You gotta help me. I think he knows I've been talking to you about this new chaos shit he's bringing in. Oh, uh, yeah. Look, I don't know. Look, I think maybe Shauna said something to him. She's out there making a delivery for him now, all right? To who? Look, I don't know. She won't tell me. That's the whole. I think she's fucking him, all right? I think she's fucking him. Ah, that's what this is about. You're worried your little girl is getting I'm something on the side, huh? No! God, I didn't like that. Please, please, I am begging you. Do you understand? I am begging you. I've seen what this guy does to people. I swear to God, I do not want to be able to shoot into this dick when it comes around. All right. I'll tell you what, you stay put. I'll come get you in an hour, all right? Where do you want me to get you? This club, okay? Okay, all right, relax. I'll be there in an hour. Martin, relax. I'm gonna come get you, man. Hey, Gross has a wife. Who is this? Did you pull the plug yet? You haven't sleep very well, have you? Wondering how such a thing could happen to your wife. You being such a big, tough police officer and everything. You wanna know how it happened? I'll tell you how it happened. 
Who the fuck is this? Oh, I don't think it's really important right now. I think the important thing is that you know what you weren't there to stop. You know, she never even saw me. She didn't fight back either. I started thinking maybe she likes it rough. She didn't like it rough, did she cross? You know what? We'll talk later. Hey, Frankie, it's me. Listen, man, get your ass out of bed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come get you in ten minutes. I'll tell you when I get there. You know this Martin? He's my kind of guy. John, I say we wait inside. I uh, happen to know that the Wednesday afternoon talent is exceptional. Shitless. Kind of difficult for him to talk. He was open up from ear to ear. I'd say he bled out in less than a minute. Serious talent. He's in a meeting. Can I take your name? I'll have him call you. Serious talent, please hold. Yes. Hi, I'm Shauna. I have a 1215 with Colin Hopkins. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Oh. Oh, no, that one's fantastic. Hmm. Yes, I could keep you working constantly. 24-7, if you like. So, I believe Max gave you a little something for me. Your regular order. Plus, a free bonus. Ooh. Hmm. I, uh, can't quite reach it. Would you be a dear and bring it over here for me? Paranoid? Don't worry, love. I just keep it for protection. A few years ago, I actually had an actor walk in and pull a gun on me. Next one to try it is in for a big surprise. Southern California University campus operator. Dr. Jacob Nathaniel's office, please. A moment, please. Got an address on Martin's little hottie. It's all the way over in the fucking valley. What is it? show a listing for Dr. Nathaniel on our faculty. He was in the archaeology department? I'm sorry, I'm just the operator, but perhaps I can give you the archaeology department and they can give you some help. Yeah, shoot. Their extension is 1280. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Anything good? No, I just handling some business. What were you gonna say, man? I was gonna say on our way over the hill, we stop at Mama's, I'll buy you a burrito. Oh, no, shit. 
Listen, buddy, I need you to do me a favor. Buddy. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, here it comes. I promised Catherine I'd have lunch with her. Can you go get Shana, bring her back here by yourself, and then when I get back, we'll talk to her together here. I don't know, man. You don't know. Can't handle it by yourself. You owe me. Oh, shit! First one was good, the second one's even better. Max said you'd like it. Yeah, chaos. It's a good name. I like it. Max says it's gonna change the world. Ah, <laughs> oh, that Maxi. He likes to think big. Are you okay? Who are you, my fucking mum? I'm better than okay. So, um, Max said that you'd sign me as a favor to him. Really? He told you that? And, um, <laughs> did good old Maxie tell you about the favor that you'd have to do for me? far with that attitude. Jonathan Contrell is here to see you. Tell him to fucking wait. I really don't think I can do that. Then tell him to fuck off, then. He's a lousy fucking actor anyway. Jesus, it's getting so a man can't get a little peace and quiet around here. Asshole, what the hell's going on? Oh, my God. Mr. Cross, I must be honest with you. There are no indications at this time. Look, at this time, at this time being the key word, right? That she will ever recover her higher brain functions, nor do I anticipate any. The time has come to consider what might be best for your wife and for you in the larger picture. In the larger picture, man. I, I read these articles in these magazines, in these newspapers about um, miraculous recoveries. You know, you've read them, and you think, why them? Why not me? Why not her? You ever been around for one of those, Doc? You ever seen a miracle? I'm afraid I haven't. Well, me either, man. But I gotta believe they exist. Or else, what's the point? I gotta go. I guess it'd be a waste of time to ask who the fuck this is. Oh, you know who this is, Cross. You just don't want to let yourself believe it. Come on, Cross. The sign in the alley, no-brainer. And didn't the good doctor tell you what my name was all those years ago? You just didn't listen, did you? What, what is it you want? Oh, it takes just a little too long to go into that one. But I think there's something that you want. Yeah, yeah, what's that? I hear you've been looking for my boy Max because you think he holds the key to this little chaos problem of yours. 
maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. But Merry Christmas, Cross. You can find him at Club Orpheus tonight. So both your strongest leads are now dead, meaning basically you guys have Dick. That pretty much sums it up, yeah. Yeah, the girl was a dancer at one of Max's clubs, Club Orpheus. Martin thought she was doing him. He was also paranoid that she might be getting hip to the fact that he was talking to us. So we had Martin taken out. By a priest? Oh, that's going to look real good on the 6 o'clock news. <sighs> this is unbelievable. Van Buren. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Now let me know when the rest comes in. Thanks. Forensics. The preliminary blood work for that Hopkins character is positive for diamonditrate C. Chaos. What? That's the street name for it, Chaos. Mm, appropriate. Well, whatever you call it. Forensics says they've never seen anything like it. I mean, they have their theories. Let's see. Uh, it may be derived from some plant in the Middle East, probably extinct at this point. They don't really know for sure. And frankly, I don't really care. I don't care where it's from. I don't care what's in the shit. I, I don't care what part of the brain it affects. I do care that it's causing people to kill other people in large fucking quantities, and I want it stopped. Loud and clear. Damn, where did we get these guns from? Cat I'm doing business with, he sent them to me today. Who? I don't really know. It's like some third party action, you know what I'm saying? They want us to move some product for him or something. Keep sending me gifts, but I ain't turning down no gifts. <laughs> Wish you slide me some heat on this motherfucker. Fuck you need some guns for all the damn gun charges you got and shit, man. You too goddamn violent anyway, man. Come over here, man. Check this out. Sorry, um, think about that right there in the left. Ooh, shit, she nice. He's on the move. What's up, beautiful? Come on, I ain't never seen you here before. All right, he's going for the bait. Woo! This is nice. Like it. Mmm, yeah. Wow. So what's up, baby? You thought about that? Thousand dollar night minimum. 
You know, I used to make more than that. Besides, I'm trying to quit. Is that right? Mm -hmm. We used to work Dallas. Houston. Cool. You know, I got a lot of friends out there in Houston. What club? Pretty much all of them. <laughs> One time or another. I thought we came here to party, baby. It's not a history lesson. I thought you might have known some of my friends, that's all. Don't you worry about it, baby. We're going to party. Is that shit loud enough? Sums up, man. I'm moving in. That's all we need, John. We're coming in. thing I hate more than a lying bitch. It's a lying cop, bitch. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Shut the fuck up! You are, don't move! Put your hands on your head, lady. Jamal has come. Put your hands on your head! He has come for the child. You must protect him. I don't know what you're talking about. You bear the marks. If Talal kills the child, all will be lost. John, you all right? When you get here, you come with me. You're right. Okay. Cross. Find the woman who bore the child. to talk to them. Right. That way you get the information. When you kill them... Oh, Lieutenant. You end up with what you had this afternoon, which is Dick. I got a call from Westwood on the way over here. 
We're gonna have visitors tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, who? What? Do you? Guess again. That's a lot of baloney. This is our case, Lieutenant. Yeah, well, maybe for the moment. The FBI has no jurisdiction on narcotics, none. Well, they want to talk to both you guys. You in particular, Cross. Me? Why me? I don't know. I guess we'll all find out tomorrow. Your scars are most interesting, Mr. Cross. Whoever put them on you had a knowledge of Sumerian demonology. Yeah, Dr. Jacob Nathaniel, please. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I probably have an old number. Right. Demon's name is Talal. Talal has come. I'm sorry I can't give you a better explanation. Jacob, go ahead. Jacob. Hey, there. Now, how many times must I tell you you cannot take such risks? One day it might look like me, but not be me. You understand? Celine said it was you. Do me a favor. Just wait for the signal. Please take this upstairs. Okay. We must move up the timetable. Twelve hours. Why? There has been a mistake. I say San Francisco. Nah, Junior. Sacramento, man. I saw the suit when he went in there. Maybe. Jeez. You know what? You need to get that knee looked at, dog. Get a scope by a doctor, man. They'll hook you up for life. Nah, I hate doctors. Last time I went to one, he told me I had to quit smoking. Speaking of which, you want to show a little support for your fellow officer here? How about a little help, maybe? With what? Fine. Fine, where do they tell you that you got the lungs of a 65-year-old man? Frank, as long as I have a body of a 25-year-old woman, who cares? Guys, you're up. Close the door, please.
This is Special Agent Taylor, down from the Sacramento office. He's going to be taking over the investigation at this point. Agent Taylor has some questions for both of you about some woman on... I'll take it from here, Lieutenant. The Lieutenant was kind enough to relay your little story to me. What little story is that? Well, there are some inconsistencies in your version of the events on the roof that I'd like you to explain. I'll tell you what. I finished my report. I believe my partner, Frank, here has finished his report. Why don't you just read him? Well, I went over the witness statements. I even called a few myself. And one of them places you on that roof with a woman. It says you spoke to her. Any of this jog your memory? How about this? Can I see that? Just so you know who you're dealing with, or who you're covering up for, Cross, whatever the case may be. Her name is Celine, and I have been tracking her for years. The Middle East, Europe, South America. And now here. She's a known terrorist, trained by Iraqi intelligence. And aside from being a cold-blooded killer, she traffics in just about anything. Arms, drugs, even children. And that's what concerns me most at the moment. Now, I happen to obtain a copy of your military records. And on what ended up being your final mission as a member of Marine Recon, you attempted to save a Susanna Lickman. That's correct. She gave birth to a baby, and I tried to get her and the child out of there. And you failed? Yes. And her son was kidnapped during that incident? By her? That's possible. I don't remember a lot about it. Well, maybe you remember more than you think. Let me get this straight. You're trying to say that, um... <clears throat> Somehow, 12 years ago, I helped this woman kidnap a baby doing a fucking mission. That's bullshit, man. War is chaos, Cross. And it presents men with unusual opportunities. Maybe this was yours. I have a question. Yes. Where'd you get that suit? It's very nice. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure you appreciate the gravity of your partner's situation, Carpenter. Oh, I appreciate the gravity. What I don't appreciate is you coming down here and calling him a liar. If the shoe fits. You know what? Fuck you. Huh. Cross. I'll be back. Come to you then. Susanna Lickman? Jacob said she would. It means the time is near. Jacob, you mean Dr. Nathaniel? He, he told you that? Yes. When? <sighs> About 12 years ago. Aaron, my husband, was like a son to him. He helped me to try to come to terms with what happened. When I came back from Saudi, I went to see him. To learn what the marks meant. Yeah, to find out about the marks. They, uh, they said he was some kind of expert. Well, he's 
More than that. You don't mind my asking. What did he tell you? He told me the truth. That I wasn't strong enough. I am sorry I couldn't save your boy that night. No, you weren't supposed to. She was. You... At least that night. Miss Lickman, I don't know who's telling you what. But you do understand that that woman took your child, right? Yes, yes, to protect him from Talal. You were to come later. My son is going to do great things. He's been chosen by God, and the demon will not rest until he's dead. And that's why she had to take him that night. And this, this doctor is telling you all this? Yes. You must go and speak to Jacob. He'll make you believe. Well, thank you for your time. All right? Do you have a picture of your wife? Yeah. Here, there she is right there. She has kind eyes. She'll take good care of him. Please take this. I want him to know what his mother looked like. I will not harm you. Well, that's nice. I talked to this tailor. He told me all about you. You, you still got that kid? Yes. Where is he? With Jacob. I'll take you there now. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going anywhere just yet. You are his only hope. And he is yours. Without him, the world will fall. Why am I his only hope? Fuck a move, Cross. What the fuck you doing? Shut up. Shut the fuck up and drop that gun. What? What are you doing? What am I doing? I figured you'd try to warn her. What are you, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? You just fired on a federal officer, Cross. You out of your fucking mind? She fired my weapon. I didn't. Then why are you holding it? Now drop the fucking gun. You're way off on this, man. Let's see. You and I are gonna go for a ride. Drive. Go ahead, Celine. 
do it. What are you waiting for? Long ago, you wouldn't have hesitated to kill. You are what you are. No, Tiel. I am no longer. the fuck is going on? Huh? You guys hopped up on that chaos shit? He's not what he appears to be. The demon is now within him. Don't hand me that demon bullshit. I saw the Kevlar under the bullet holes. He was wearing a vest. You felt it. I felt what? Him. Talal. I felt his hands around my neck. That's what I felt. All right, let's just suppose he is what you say he is. Why the fuck didn't you kill him when you had the chance? It would be of no use. Why not? He would simply find another body. A fucking another body? Yes. I cannot kill him. The boy must speak the words. Jacob will explain. Explain. We sure shit better. Seems the last time we talked, you left a couple things out, Doc. I told you the truth, or as much as you were ready to hear at that time. Okay, now I'm ready to hear the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You will know the play Hamlet, Detective. Oh, man, what's Shakespeare got to do with this? Hamlet's best friend, Horatio, tells him there are more things in heaven and in earth... In heaven and earth that are dreamt of in your philosophy. Yeah, I was an English lit major. I think what Shakespeare's trying to say is that sometimes shit happens and we can't explain it. Well put. But brother, you ain't Shakespeare. And I need to see Susanna Lickman's kid. Where is he? I'm here. This is David, Mr. Cross. You have something for me. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Here. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. My name is John. Hey, look, your mother... It's late, David. You must rest. Thank you. I get the feeling you don't want me talking to him, do you? There will be plenty of time for you to talk to David, Mr. Cross. <laughs> From the earliest of times... God has spoken to man through his prophets. David is, he will be such a man. He will do a great many things. Highest among them, expose one of evil's greatest frauds. Divide and conquer. Think about it. Three religions, Judaism, Christianity, Islam. The same God at war with one another for two millennia has always been this way. And this, this 12-year-old boy is going to get all that together by himself? He will. And he knows about this destiny stuff? As with Abraham, Moses, Isaiah, and many others before him. It will be up to God to choose the time and the place. I have done what I can to make him ready. As long as Talal is not allowed to stop him, he will fulfill his destiny. Do you hear from Cross? Oh, no. Nothing yet. Well, I have a lead. It's another possible chaos deal. It's supposed to go down tonight. It's a small time distributor. I want you to check it out. Here's the address. So, what do you need from me? Because if, as you say, Talal is inhabiting Taylor's body... Mr. Taylor doesn't have very long in that body, Mr. Cross. See, 
wants to allow enters a body, the possession accelerates the metabolism astronomically. He literally bends out the host. Then he needs to jump to a new one before the old one dies. How long does it take him to burn out a body? A day. That's for the strongest, healthiest bodies. And with exertion, stress, the deterioration accelerates further. OK. We get him, we lock his ass up, we wait it out. I do wish it were that easy, Mr. Cross. But you are half right. This is as exact a replica as I could reconstruct from Aaron's description of the last sarcophagus. These symbols, of course, you are familiar with them. Oh, yeah. The symbols, not the vessel, are what contain him. Are you telling me that the plan is to get Talal up here and try to contain him in this? Yes. Well, more power to you on getting him to cooperate, because uh, I don't think he's going to go for it. It's the shortest way if all else fails. Come, Mr. Cross. Once Talal is contained, the prayer is said. Then, and only then, is Talal trapped forever. Yeah, or until some crazy-ass archaeologist digs him up, right? I would like to shame your levity, Mr. Cross, but I'm afraid I can't. Not when civilization itself hangs in the balance. So now it's not just the kid we're talking about. It's, it's all a civilization that hangs in the balance. Before Aaron passed away, he sent me this. Yeah. Chaos. Yes. Said in ancient Sumer, the worshippers of Talal used a very powerful drug. His priests were given it in very small amounts. Taken in large doses, well, you have seen the effects. Yes, I have. See, Talal's thirst for power was unquenchable. He released the drug to the general population. All laws, societal order broke down, literally destroyed their civilization as he plans to destroy ours. Watch your step. I got it. All right. Well, it really stinks in here. Ah. <sighs> Guess we know why it stinks. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder how long he's been here. Well, he must have had the lungs of a 65-year-old. Huh. <laughs> We're going to have to call this in, you know. Looks like I got something here.
I never thought I'd say this to a Fed, but thank God you're here. Well, I'm afraid he can't take credit on this one. <coughs> How's the wrist? It's broken. Well, this should take your mind off it. What are you fucking crazy? I just shot your partner. What are you gonna do about it? It's loaded. Go ahead. Shoot me. Well, you want to, don't you? Go ahead. You'd be surprised how good it feels. The act of taking a life is so sublime and I thought it should be available to everybody. Chaos. Aptly named, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you feel it. The urge to kill. Do your duty, officer. <laughs> and who is she really? She's a soul in torment, trapped between life and death. Her reward, if you help us, is to be mortal once again. When death comes to the guardian of the ball, it will mean the release of another innocent soul somewhere in the world. And who chooses who that soul is? Who chose you to be in the desert that night? All right, Doc. Let's just say for argument's sake that I believe you. It is of no consequence whether you Believe me or not, the truth is the truth. And the truth is we, we cannot do this without your help. Not me, not David, not her. We cannot force you. We can only ask that you think of the greater good that you help us. Excuse me a minute. Yeah, John, it's Frank. Your wife, John. The doctor's called a bunch of times. What'd they say? Nothing. I'm not family. You know how it goes. Okay. Thanks for the call, man. I'll check it out. I'll meet you at the hospital. Why would anyone ever give these up? Please don't go, detective. You're gonna have to give me a couple hours. Tomorrow night, there'll be an eclipse of the moon. Everything will be exactly as it was on the night that Talal was released. It is the only time that David can cure Talal, and Talal can kill him. Well, then we got a little time. I'll be back. David was born in Iraq. The time difference is 12 hours. We don't have a few hours. Well, then, Doc, you're gonna have to start without me. She needs me. I got to see her. Fuck up. You're under arrest, Cross. For what? Murdering a federal officer. Get him out of here. This is bullshit. Oh. I got your weapon at the scene. Class three substance at your residence. Nobody who can verify where you were the night Agent Taylor and your fellow officer was killed. Now, that doesn't look good. I told you where I was. As far as the drugs in my house, they must have been planted. By who? Whom? 
What? Whom? Planted by whom? Don't they teach you English at the FBI Academy? Ballistics report. Perfect fucking match. You haven't tested me for powder burns. Why? Because you'd wear gloves. You know the test would come up negative. You ain't got shit, and you know you ain't got shit. Don't you lock me up or let me go. Agent Sanders? Test him. Hey, partner. Those beds any more comfortable than they look? Hell no. Say, you want to give us a couple minutes? Thank you. Look, John, I'm working on bail for you, but the feds are putting on a full court press here. Listen, I got shit going on in my life right now you won't fucking believe. I understand. Man, I didn't do any of this. Not Taylor, not Cassie Frankie, none of it. I know you didn't. I want you cleared. Van Buren wants you cleared. Look, so if there's anything you got, you can tell me. Anything, any, any, someone you saw, someone you talked to that can put you away from all this, John, you got to tell me now. An alibi is your only hope of getting out okay, of this thing. Okay. I was at a cabin, a log cabin on, um, up on Angela's Crest. Okay, you'll find it. Was, I was dealing with a Dr. Jacob Nathaniel. He's a professor. You go see him, man. I want you to hear that shit with your own ears. You won't believe it. What shit is that? He was right about you, huh? Right about what? Symbols, not the vessel I want containing. <laughs> it's the shortest way if all else fails. <sighs> you are gone, Talal. You have failed. Upside down. But that's nothing compared to what you had in mind for me. Do you have any idea what it's like, Doctor, to be imprisoned in stone for 3,000 years? Yeah, it's terrible. 
Stone dust choking you, filling your lungs. You try to move. You're ripping, scratching and clawing at the walls of your prison, only to find that you're ripping at your own flesh. Now where have you two hidden the boy? I have been planning this insurrection for nearly 3,000 years. You didn't actually think I was going to allow him to live, did you? Tell me. you too, man. Matter of fact, we're on our way up there. What a coincidence. I'm on my way down. Well, maybe we'll bump into each other.
David took Dens up a stone and slung it and smote the Philistine Goliath in the forehead. But Goliath was only a man. If it were me, I would have killed the little bastard. Jeans. 